Ratings guys, welcome to the channel. My name is DJ Odyssey and if you're new to my channel, you know what to do. You need to like, comment, subscribe and share so that you can help the channel to grow. And on today's video, what I'm going to be doing is break down this track that I just played for you. It's an amazing Afro House track, which I also love. I feel like I'm also going to drop this one very soon, obviously. So on this video, I used my new sample pack, which just dropped on Friday. It's called Afro House and Tech Essentials Sample Pack 1 by DJ Odyssey. So go out and get it. The link will be in the description. And I'll appreciate you purchasing this one because I worked hard on it. So most of the sounds and loops that you're going to be hearing on this track actually come from my new sample pack. So let's dive into this so that we can break down this amazing track, which I feel like I love it. And so let's just get into it and see what happens, you know. So I'm gonna be waking from this. I feel like oh, yeah, it's everything here. Yeah? So we don't have to get out of this loop. So the first thing that I did on this was get inspired by this, by this actually, by, by this loop. It comes from my sample pack. That's what I started with um, when I made this track. Um, it actually gave me more. And then from here, that's when I added uh, this pad. So this pad comes from Expand. And then that's what I did to it. Normally, I had to cut off mostly the high frequencies and the low frequencies so that it can make sense, so that it doesn't have to cover up the whole frequency range of the song because i need other sounds to cover up other frequencies even the one that is on just to make it clear you know so that's the first thing the next song has to be the roads um that's what i did with the roads uh, we used launch lizard for this and then it sounds like this <laughs> I added uh, this plug here. Hope you guys can hear me. This guy needs to go up. Okay, and I added this plug. It just goes straight like this. And it only makes sense mostly when you have the swing. Um, when you increase the swing a little bit, and then uh, the plug comes from Nexus, obviously, as the UK Pikes uh, plugged. Um, and then the next thing that I had to do was add some strings, take the same chords and put them on some strings and the strings come from contact, um, you know, me and orchestrals. And then it sounds like this. As you can see, I cut off the low frequencies and some high frequencies on this. Make sure that you always cut off the low frequencies at most. I'm not saying always. I'm saying at most. Most of the sounds need to have low frequencies cut off, especially the low frequencies. The high frequencies, you can cut them off for a certain type of a feel for me. That's how it works. If I feel like I need this to sound a little bit sad, I normally cut off the low frequencies because the high frequencies are too happy. So you cut off uh, the high frequencies so that they don't become too happy. You want it to become a little bit sad, you know? So that's, that's, that's me, that's, that's what I do. But sometimes I have to cut them off because they're just too loud. <laughs> uh, and then I added a guitar. This guitar comes from Omnisphere. It's just classic nylon guitar. This is it. You just have to come to acoustics and you find classic nylon guitar. So that's how it sounds. And and then the next sound uh, has to be the brass and this. So I just want to stop from here and I just want to go to the drums. Uh, let's go to a kick that I added also from my pack. This is how it sounds. How it looks, very simple. I didn't do much to it. And then we have percussions as well. Just gonna let them play alone. As you can hear, I'm just trying to get a feel, just a simple feel. And then we have more 
snares here. So you can see I have four different type of snares on this. I didn't like use one snare to give me the rhythm. I used the different types of snares to actually give me one rhythm. And it sounds like this. And then the next sound that I added is the toms. As you can see as well, it's three different types of toms. Very simple, like the draw, like the snares and the percussions, they just follow a certain rhythm or groove. If you and then I'll say I added the shakers. And then you have this. They come from my packs as well. They sound so amazing when they're so in the song as well. And then from here, I can play this um, so that you can hear how the drums add up to to the instrument. All right, and then so the next thing that I added now I can say is the brass. It's just a copy of just a copy of the chords put them on the brass and then make them a little bit an octave high and then i got the brasses from expand is the synth brass um the glossy brass so you go to synth brass and then glossy brass is the first one so you can't get lost when you get expand if you have expand as well so the eq looks like this cut off the low frequencies of the brasses and then you're good to go and then the next thing i added some vocals they come from um they come from arcade i use these 10 voices and uh, it's called chronicle and then you have this sound is so simple so far we close this the sound very simple and then this is a bass line and then so the bass line let's see the bass line where it comes from if i remember it's an electric bus from nexus and it sounds like this <laughs> All right, that sounds dope. And then from there, you add another bass line. This one uh, has some highs on it. So it's, uh, it's this 3X uh, oscillators. Um, you know how you do this, cut off this, uh, switch off these volumes, these two volumes off. And then the next thing, just take it down to the last octave or to the last, yeah, to the last octave basically. And then so that you can have that feel. Now you have this. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Choose this um, this wave, and then you'll be fine. Oh, wave shape. Let's put it like that. And the next thing is just put a drum fill. So I put one of my drum fills in there. So this one sounds like this. Also in my packs. So yeah, guys, I think this sums up everything that's in the track. So if you have any questions, put them down in the description. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and the most important thing, don't forget to subscribe so that you can see whenever I put out a new video for you guys. And thank you so much for tuning in and getting this far. And don't forget, I have a remix challenge coming up. I think I'm gonna give you guys a vocal very soon, probably tomorrow during this week so that we can have like a remix uh a remix pack for one of my songs and then we can actually take it out to digital platforms and see how people react to it as well and let's start collaborating you see that's another way for us to actually collaborate and see who is who who's watching the videos and i'll see you guys very soon peace man let's put it down a little bit here and then we're out